my name is Bird Brain, and today we are talking about drawings, but more specifically, drawing with the pencil tool. Yay! Because the pencil tool is amazing to do cleanup. Okay, so do you sometimes struggle to use the cutter tool in harmony? Like, does this sometimes happen to you? You want to clean up a piece of hair? And then when you use the cutter tool, something like this happens, and then you're like, so ugly. Or sometimes when you use the cutter tool again to put like a stripe into something, and then something like this happens, and you're like, it's so ugly. So yeah, there's many ways to use the cutter tool. And did you know the cutter tool has tool properties? Sometimes people are so used to just use it as the T shortcut that they forget that it's actually a tool that, you know, has things to adjust. So when you use the cutter tool, there's many things to consider. You can't just like use it and then press T and expect it to work, though sometimes it does. Then it's not gonna work on the next time you use it. So like, you know, you have to adjust it. Okay, so let's explore the cutter tool. So here's the cutter tool. It's located here within the select tools cousin or something. It's there, you can activate it. The shortcut for it is Alt T, which means that if you just press and hold the letter T and you use it, it's temporary. When you release the letter T, you're gonna go back to whatever old tool you were using. Which is why it's a tool of choice when you do cleanup. Because you can just like do your hair and then cut and then keep going more, doing more lines and just cut as you go. And it's seriously amazing. It's a very cool tool. But you know, there's some things to know about it. So let's explore some of the cutter tools properties that are the most important. So this one here was introduced some years ago. It allows you to do multiple line cutting gesture. So that's why if you have multiple lines, you will be able to cut them all at the same time. I'm just saying this in case someone comes from like, hey, I've had only 12 for the past 20 years and now I have 22. What's new, kids? Well, then you can just know that you can do this because in the past you needed to cut them one by one. And it was kind of annoying, right? So now you don't have to do that. And then the other one that is very important is this one, the tip style. So the tip style, what it does is it allows you to decide how your line is going to look once you cut it. So, you know, if you have two lines like this, I'm gonna do it twice so we see the difference. If I use the cutter that has a style round, then you get round edges. If you get a style that is flat, then you get flat edges, which is usually what people don't want when they do a contour of their shape. Okay, so rule of thumb, usually if you're cutting the outside, like the, the contour shape of your line work, you wanna use the round tip. But then why is there a flat tip and a bevel tip? Like, like this doesn't look good. Well, it doesn't look good because you're using a pure vector line. If you were using a textured line, sometimes it does look better to have a very, very uh, um, sharp like end like this. So if I'm cleaning up using like the charcoal line here, sometimes uh, using the round cutter will give too much like thickness to the line. So using the cutter that is set to bevel or flat can sometimes look a bit better because remember this is going to be rendered when you render it out uh, oops <laughs> i don't have a color card but when you render it out it looks less uh sharp than this because it's going to be all pixelated and remember line work is usually pretty darn small <laughs> pretty pretty small so you usually don't even see that it's sharp but then it prevents from having a big uh thing at the end here so you know it can be good the other good reason to use the flat end of a cutter is if you have a line like um if i'm gonna draw here a on the side here like a cattail and the cattail is like this and the lines inside are made of a thicker pencil just because that's the style of the show that's what they they want and you do these little stripes if you use the cutter with the style round like you always do usually uh, you, you might have some little bulge here and it's not very cool right so you see it go out it's not a bug it's literally because your line has a very big thickness so the the round tip is going to do that if instead you take a cutter that is set to flat it's going to cut it much smaller so it was behind the line which i can do with a right click going to arrange send to back Mine is usually set to a shortcut because I use that all the time. Then you're not going to see it go overboard. This is really just because you're using a flat tip. And if you want to change it afterward, you can also take your, your lines and you can go into the properties and change it to flat. Yay! I'll tell you a secret. Sometimes I just use a round tip. And then if I have lines like this that I know are inside, I'm just going to do all my scene with the round tip. And then I'm going to use a select by color, select all the lines of that color and I'll set them to flat. But that's my little secret. <laughs> Um, the other thing that is useful with this is that you can do a tool preset. Tool 
presets, everybody think it's just for the brush or the pencil or whatever, but you can use it with the buckets and even with the cutter tool. So I just made myself two tool presets, one with the cutter like this and one with the cutter like this. And then if I click here on my tool preset, which are usually near my art layers, okay? So that's where I like to have them. If I click on this one, you see it goes to round and this one, it goes to flat, round, flat, round, flat. And I can even give them a shortcut. So I go to shortcut here and I can assign them a shortcut. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, but that's it. I hope that now you know a bit more about the cutter tool. Pretty cool. Okay, bye. Thank you.